Oh my gosh. I've never tasted ice cream like this before. Woo! It is hot outside. Hey everyone, Jackie back at it again with Best in LA. And today we're conquering ice cream. I picked the hottest day in Los Angeles. It is 105 degrees outside. What was I thinking? I wasn't. But you know what? When it's hot outside, the one thing that everybody wants is ice cream. You know the drill by now. We're gonna be eating at a bunch of ice cream spots and I'm gonna rate them on a scale from one to 10. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys my top three favorite places and that's that. Let's go eat some ice cream. Off with the bang, we are at Bumson Organic Milk Bar where all of their soft serve is 100% organic, which is incredible. And I got their taro and chocolate ice cream. So what I also love about their cones is that they make them every single day fresh in the ice cream shop. And as you guys could see, there's a lot of love that goes into each and every one of these cones. I have to stop talking because my ice cream is melting. So here we go, let's try it. Wow. Wow. The texture is so thick, yet so soft, and also so creamy. We all know I love my chocolate. This chocolate is rich and chocolatey, 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 just like I like it. And that taro, it is such a beautiful flavor. Man, my taste buds are really happy right now. Let's try this cone because, again, look at that thing. Look how incredibly amazing that is. Things are gonna get really messy today, you guys. That is freaking delicious. Kind of reminds me of s'mores a little bit when your marshmallow just came out of the fire and you get that like stickiness of the ooey gooey marshmallow. It's so nice, but then you have the fruity pebbles there, so it's really chewy and it's bursting with flavors because of that fruity pebble. It's really, really nice. So you get all that ice cream and then you get more dessert when you get to the cone, which is awesome. It's like double the dessert for the price of one and I am not mad at it. I'm gonna have to give this a 10. We're off to a great start. Next stop is La Michoacana Plus, and their ice cream, you guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Just by looking at this, I'm already getting a sweet tooth. This looks so freaking amazing. Are you kidding me? So we have the mango nata, which is one of their most popular items. And then the classic paleta, which is this with Oreos. This is one of their most famous paletas. Mm-hmm. My camera fell. This is like cookies and cream ice cream but on a stick you're still getting that lovely oreo cookie with the vanilla ice cream but it's actually more fun to eat it this way because it's on a stick and it looks pretty this is like your classic cookies and cream ice cream tub really really good but i love that they give you this big chunk of oreo instead of it being broken up so you have it all in the ice cream but also you have these two big chunks that are awesome as well the mango natto they make this ice cream in-house with fresh mangoes. And then they have all of the good toppings on top. Fresh cut mangoes, the mangoes and the ice cream, mango overload, it's so good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh man. And then they put all the Mexican candy on top too. So you're getting the ice cream and you're getting extra candy. Man, they're really spoiling me here. So the texture of their ice cream is icy. It's not like this thick consistency, which is nice. It's almost like refreshing to eat this. So why I love this is because not only are you getting vibrant mango ice cream in it, you're also getting that chamoy sauce. You're also getting that tamarind candy on top. So it really does break up the ice cream. You get a vibrant, fresh ice cream and then you get this spicy nice flavor from the chamoy. The only thing that I would say that would make this a hundred times better and a little bit of alcohol, maybe some tequila, just saying, make this really fantastic. Y'all know I love cookies and cream, love my chocolate. That paleta definitely gets an eight. 
I'm gonna give this a nine because it would be a 10 if there was some tequila in it. And I don't wanna say goodbye to her yet. I'm so happy, this is fantastic. That's it, that's all. just showed up at Moshti Malone's, which has been rated the best ice cream in Los Angeles. This ice cream shop is owned by these two owners. They're Persian and they get all of their ingredients from Iran. They import all of their saffron and their herbs from Iran and they put all of that into their ice cream. They have so many different flavors that I guess us Americans wouldn't be used to. And what I got is their saffron and rosewood ice cream and it has pistachios inside. Also what they gave me on the side is pretty much just ice with rice starch. They say it's really refreshing and it complements the ice cream so I went ahead and got those together. You guys, the owners here are honestly incredible. They're so passionate. They've had this ice cream shop for 40 years in Los Angeles. Now, any place in LA that stays open for 40 years is quite the accomplishment. They have seen it all. Now that I have talked your ears off, let's go ahead and try this. Saffron Rosewood Pistachio Ice Cream. Whoa, whoa, holy crap. This ice cream is fragrant, but not in a way where it's like, oh, I'm tasting like a perfume. It's so different and delightful. Oh my God. This is beautiful. This is art. I want to get some of that pistachio. Hold on. Wow. Oh my gosh. I've never tasted ice cream like this before. They said with the rice that they you should put um, some lemon juice on top of it. I haven't tried their um, rice starch yet, but they said it tastes really good together and it's refreshing. Here we go. I'm gonna just pour a little bit on the ice here and eat that with this. See what that's tasting like. Oh my God. If you couldn't tell by my reaction, this gets a 10. Yeah, I'm giving out another 10. And I don't care what you guys think because this is Phenomenal. Wow. If you have been in Los Angeles, whether you live here or you're visiting here, chances are you've definitely been to Salt and Straw. It's basically like a fancier Baskin Robbins, kind of. The thing about Salt and Straw that is super popular is they have these unconventional flavors. Also, they have a lot of vegan options as well, so a lot of people come here to have their vegan ice cream. Today, I chose two flavors. I had to get a chocolate chip cookie dough because like I said earlier, that's one of my favorite ice creams. And then I got their flavor of the month. It's called Huckleberry Cast Iron Cornbread. Now I'm from Texas. I love me some cornbread, but I don't know how I feel about cornbread in my ice cream. Here we go. The flavors are nice. The texture though isn't sitting right for me. Cornbread is supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be next to your brisket and your barbecue. It's not supposed to be cold and soggy like this. So the texture really is throwing me. I'm not a fan of this flavor, you guys. It's, it's a little weird. Cornbread's just not supposed to be an ice cream. No, no. Let's try their cookie dough ice cream, which is something I know I do love. Amazing. The cornbread ice cream for me, I have to rate a four because I just don't like cold cornbread. The cookie dough ice cream, that for sure is a nine. The next stop is Sweet and Hollow. Um, I've eaten ice cream from there before. Their ice cream is delicious, but let's be real. Everybody goes there for their cones because they are not traditional ice cream cones. It's basically like a churro hybrid cone. You could put Nutella in there, there's cinnamon on the cone. It is amazing. They're doing a collab with Pop's Artisanal Ice Cream. So they're actually only giving their cones and then the ice cream is from Pop's Artisanal, which was not on our list, but I'm excited to try it. I got the pink guava and then the Thai tea. It is melting like all the ice creams that we had today. But let's go ahead and give this ice cream a try. They make all of their ice cream in-house. 
Tastes like really great Thai tea, but thick ice cream form. Lots of flavor. Delicious. All right, let's get into the one on the bottom. That ice cream is vibrant and creamy and thick, just how you like it. Really good, really refreshing in this 114 degree weather. The struggle is real today, you guys. I'm not even gonna try to front or lie. All right, and look at this. Mm. That is phenomenal. There's nothing better than bread, sugar, and Nutella. Funny story, when we wouldn't have any dessert at home, what my mom would do, we'd get a slab of bread, put butter on it, and cinnamon, and then toast it, and that was our form of dessert, and that's kind of what this is reminding me of a little bit, but all we were missing was Nutella back then. If I had to rate their ice cream, I would give it a seven. I know it's all about best ice cream in LA, but sometimes we lose focus on the cone. If I had to rate this cone, I give it a 10. Next up, you guys, we are headed to the Dalai Lama. They have actually only been open since 2017, but they have dominated the LA scene. And they're known for their waffle cones and their really amazing toppings. I come here because they have my absolute favorite ice cream flavor, which is the Cookie Monster. Get this, it is basically Oreos, like cookies and cream and chocolate chip cookie dough. This thing is insane. So on top, it's basically like an inverted waffle cone because the bubbles actually come out. It's a big <laughs> fluffy waffle cone. Then you have the Cookie Monster ice cream that I told you guys that I'm obsessed with. Strawberries, brownies. This thing, woo! Wow, there's nothing better than that. Let's try the waffle cone. Oh yeah, let's see what that tastes like. The waffle is literally like funnel cake. That is incredible. I think it's no secret, this is my favorite ice cream of maybe all time. It's the best creation that's ever been made in history because chocolate chip cookies are my absolute favorite. I could eat chocolate chip cookies every single day. This gets a 10. Shake what your llama gave ya because it makes you want to dance and move ah. I got their black horchata and then their coffee flavor. Um, people come here for their charcoal ice cream cones and their ice cream. This, I already know, is just gonna be <laughs> not a good experience. I'm doing everything I can in my power to not get this one on me because this could be just tragic. Ooh, that is creamy. That is delightful. It tastes exactly like horchata, the coffee and the horchata together. I love those flavors mixed together because they're both very milky already. Horchata's milky, coffee's milky. So the mix of the horchata and the coffee together is a really nice blend. This is a dynamic duo. Check this out. That is art, you guys. Look at that beautiful art. Even the drippage still has a nice little swirl to it. All right, let's try the um, ice cream cup. See what that tastes like. The ice cream cone is really thin, almost like wafery thin. So if you want something light that goes with your ice cream and you don't want to overdo it, maybe that's for you. But when I have an ice cream cone, I want it to be thick and crunchy. This one's just okay. I would give it a eight. The ice cream is heavenly. The presentation is really nice. You're not gonna get black ice cream in many places in LA, so that's a really cool factor. I'm gonna clean up now and we'll go to the next one. Soul and Beans is 
known for being Sioux. Normally their popular item is the mango, but since it's so hot outside, they suggested the watermelon because obviously watermelon is one of the most refreshing things that you could eat on a hot summer day. I'm really excited to get a little taste of Korea today. I'm going to go ahead and give this a bite. You're supposed to top it off with this condensed milk. So let's go ahead and do that. That watermelon is so refreshing and vibrant. They also have that mint in there. They just put a little mint leaf on top. It's honestly so perfect in everything I need right now because it's so hot. And then the actual ice cream. It's ice. So sometimes you think like, it'd be like shave ice, like crunchy, but it's not. It's fluffy and it's soft. The condensed milk makes it so creamy. This watermelon is honestly so fresh. This is perfect after you've had a whole meal of Korean barbecue. This was very refreshing. Everything that I needed today on this really hot day. I'm going to have to rate this nine ice cream cones. This was incredible and I love so much that they care that you're eating it nice, fresh, and cold and it doesn't melt on you so they give you this whole bag. Right. <laughs> you're getting an experience when you're there because they're making the ice cream in front of you. It's kind of like Cold Stone ice cream. What makes them different though is how they roll the ice cream into these little spirals that you guys saw, which is awesome. They give you so much ice cream. It was such a big portion. Some fresh strawberries on the side. Ooh, a roasted marshmallow and graham crackers. Love these things. Here we go. Holy roly. Let's see how this thing tastes. That's nice. So you're getting chunks of strawberry in there. Let's try it with the graham cracker. I have to take a couple more bites. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I think they distract me with the whole experience of how cool the actual shop is and how cool it is for them to make it in front of me. So I'm like, wow, that's awesome. But the ice cream, however, it's not that it's bad. It's just not like, oh my gosh, incredible. So I think here, it's more about the experience than the actual quality of the ice cream. Ugh. The strawberry is fresh. It has a very great taste. I'm gonna give this a seven. It's good, the experience was nice, and the ice cream is good. It's not like, wow, I'm gonna be craving this later, but if I'm with some friends and I want a fun experience, I'll come back to this place. I um, have just been finishing this ice cream and I have to say it's really growing on me. I know at first I was like, eh, I don't know about the texture, but once I've been eating the Cheerios with it and the graham crackers and adding that crunch to the ice cream with the fresh strawberries, I really like it. Changing the to eight. Simply because I've been sitting here a while, the texture has um, melted a little bit. So maybe that's why I'm enjoying it more. All right, you guys, the sun has set on us and this is the last stop and I'm really glad that this is the last stop because honestly, the story behind this ice cream shop is incredible. So the owner was young and she decided, hey, I love ice cream, so she bought this huge gelato machine, spent $3,000, and that little passion of wanting to make ice cream turned into her opening up multiple ice cream shops. All of her flavors are inspired by her travels. I chose their ube flavor and their mango sticky rice. So their ube flavor is inspired by the Philippines. The mango sticky rice is inspired by Thailand. Ube time. There's these like little crunchy balls inside, which is nice because you have the ice cream and then that texture of this crunch. The texture kind of reminds me of like a cocoa puff. I love this because ube is yams and then they put malted crunch balls in there. So you're getting the sweet ube with this classic malted crunch. The textures really do complement each other. I don't think I can express how great this flavor is. You're not gonna get this anywhere else. Those malted balls in there are like the crunchy stickiness when you chew it. 
is so nice in ice cream. You guys, this mango sticky rice ice cream tastes exactly like mango sticky rice. Holy crap, what the heck do they put in here? Clearly mangoes. Obviously Wonderless Creamery gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Incredible, delicious ice cream. I love that I get to taste all of these different cultures through her ice cream. Flavors are poppin'. All right, you guys, that pretty much sums up this best in LA. It was quite the journey. I got ice cream on every inch of my body, my arm, my nose, my shoes. See that newest addition right there? Note to self, don't go on an ice cream tour when it's 115 degrees in LA. But my top three favorite places have to be Number one, Mashti Malone's because man, that ice cream was so good. Number two, Wanderlust Creamery because man, there's nothing like that in Los Angeles. And then number three has to go to Dalai Lama only because they have my absolute two favorite ice creams in a mashup of one. I gotta go, it's been a day you guys. I am going to crash tonight from all the sugar that I had. Thanks for being with me. I don't even know what to say anymore. Goodbye.